So in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use Roblox click detectors, and they're pretty simple. So I'll explain them right now. So if you add a part and put a click detector inside of it, and a script, you can do local click detector equals script.parent.click detector. So you can type click detector dot, and you'll, there's four events. There's mouse click, there's mouse hover enter mouse hover leave and there's just right mouse click i'll explain mouse click first so you can do mouse click connect function and oh yeah you can also parameter a player so when you click it we can do print player.name so whoever clicked it their name's gonna get printed into the uh, output so yeah that's pretty boring so we could do like uh Local part equals script dot parent, and we can do part dot color. Ooh, we can do brick color equals uh, brick color dot random. I think we can just do random. I'm not sure. Yep, it works. So you can see every time I click this part, it changes colors. So that explains the mouse click. It's pretty simple. If we copy this and paste it, and we do mouse hover enter we can uh make it so part dot color equals color three dot new oh no that's from rgb and we'll make it green and we can copy that and we'll just do mouse hover enter leave oh, i mean hover and hover leave god i cannot speak we'll make it red so when we click the part it changes colors but if you just hover over it it turns green and red so that's mouse hover enter and that's mouse hover leave so it's really simple what you can really do with this is say we want a button so we'll just take this part we'll duplicate it but we'll remove the click detector and the script from the duplicate and we'll build like a little pedestal All right, so we have our little button. We could make the button red. We'll take this color and let's get rid of the, or oh, actually no. So we're just gonna make the hover leave our default red. It'll make the mouse hover enter a slightly brighter reds. We're not gonna use this click detector yet. We're just seeing if it looks good when you hover over it. So you have like this button that when you hover it, it does like a little lighter color thing and we can make it so there's a door so we'll just build a little door I'm struggling So we have our very amazing looking door. I spent a lot of time on this, so we'll just name it door. And like in the last tutorial, we're gonna open up this door with the script. So local door equals game that workspace that door. Then we'll just do door dot transparency equals one door dot can collide equals false. And then we'll just do We'll change this part color to green. It's going to turn red when we hover off of it, but this is just a simple explanation of how these things work. So when you hover, you get like, it's like it glows almost. When you press it, it turns green and your door is open. Now, what if you hate your player and you want to like blow them up instead of opening this door? You know, we're going to give them the, actually, we're going to open the door. We're going to let them think they're free. We'll just do task that way three, and then we'll do player dot character dot humanoid dot health uh, equals zero. So we're gonna give them the illusion of freedom, and then we're going to just—they're poisoned after touching that button. Yeah, I'm free. 
Oh my. Oh man, I died. That that sucks. Yeah, you can do a lot with these stupid things. Uh, but yeah, this is a very simple explanation of how they work. And there are four. Well, I only explained three of the four functions, but you could basically just if, say we deleted this. Actually, no, we need that. You could just change it since the fourth function I think is uh I think it's right mouse click. So yeah, right mouse click. It basically works the exact same. Instead, you don't click it with the left mouse, you click it with the right mouse. So yeah, click detectors are pretty cool. If you wanted to like teleport the player when they press something, you could also easily do that by like having okay, we want to go here. So we have a part. We're going to turn off the uh, can collide. We're going to set it to be like TP part me. Yes. Don't name it that. I'm just a moron. But we can just do. So you see how we got the uh, player's humanoid health. We can also do player dot character at humanoid root part. Since you want to grab like the player and move them to that place. We can change the humanoid root part dot C frame equals game dot workspace dot and tp me yes dot c frame so after three seconds it well let's make it so it doesn't kill us so like the door opens and you, ooh, i forgot i changed it to be right click oh man i'm free i get to walk through this door and then you get teleported to the middle of nowhere and you starve to death so yeah there's a lot you could do with click detectors i explained uh, i don't know i've very simple explanation i hope you found it useful have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.